I'm David Marsland and this is the Evening Standards front page. Britain has raced ahead in the battle to secure vaccine supplies by announcing bulk manufacturing of up to 60 million doses of a new jab. A vaccine created by French firm Valneva will start large-scale production at a plant in Livingston in Scotland. If it gets full authorisation, it will mean the UK has hopes for an astonishing 200 million jabs, more than enough for all of its citizens to get both doses required, with some left over. Tory MP Sir Desmond Swains told the Evening Standard he's at a loss to what he should apologise for after being told to say sorry for allegedly suggesting hospital Covid figures were being manipulated. In comments made in November, the lockdown sceptic apparently told the group Save Our Rights UK that the country was bouncing round at the typical level of deaths for the time of year. Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove says the backbenchers' remarks are a serious mistake and he should issue a complete retraction and apology. However, he stopped short of saying that the former minister should be suspended as a Tory MP. A World Health Organization team has emerged from quarantine in the Chinese city of Wuhan to start a fact-finding mission on the origins of COVID-19. The researchers had to complete 14 days in quarantine after arrival, delaying the long-awaited probe. The mission has become politically charged as China seeks to avoid blame for alleged missteps in its early response to the outbreak. UEFA is insisting it expects the delayed Euro 2020 tournament to take place this summer. At a virtual meeting with all the host cities, football's governing body said it was committed to holding the games as planned, but crowds could be reduced or games played in empty stadiums. Wembley is due to be the venue for seven games, including the final. And finally, campaigners backed by Dame Judi Dench are taking a council to the High Court in an attempt to save what is said to be the East End's oldest tree. Developers want to move the Bethnal Green Mulberry, which survived the Great Fire of London and being bombed in the Blitz, to make way for a block of flats. Dame Judi says the thought of losing the 400-year-old tree fills her with horror. Tower Hamlet's council says it will be moved to the front lawn of the new development, where it could be seen by the public. You're up to date. There's more on all of these stories and more at standard.co.uk.